what's up? It's me, Micah, and welcome to another episode of my Mirror Mirror series. If you guys are new to this channel, then don't forget to like this video, and as well as to subscribe, and as well as to hit the notification bell if you guys want to see my upcoming videos. So for today's episode, I'm going to be doing something different and totally out of my comfort zone because I have never ever tried anything like this. It is a makeup pack where I will be putting powder first, or loose powder rather, and then I will be applying my foundation on top of that. And I heard that this hack is best for oily skin, and if I want my makeup to last the entire day, this would be perfect, and as well as if I want to minimize the appearance of my pores. So I don't really know what to expect. It could look absolutely cakey or it could look flawless just like how it claims. But then I guess we'll see through testing it out a little bit. I've actually seen a few people try this out and I noticed that a lot of them would use expensive products. So today I'm going to be making use of very affordable products and as I promised from my Miniso haul. If you guys haven't seen that then I'm going to put it in the description box down below. But if you guys did see that haul, I did promise that I will be showing you guys how this Mumiso Loose Powder works for me. And today, we're going to be putting this to the test. As for my foundation, I'm going to be making use of this matte poreless fit me foundation in the shade 1 into 25 nude beige. So if you guys are price conscious just like me, then this would be perfect for you. Okay, I'm nervous, but let's get started. Okay, so let's start with a loose powder and I'm just gonna be putting this on the areas of my face where I get really, really oily. And I know that my beauty blender is as dirty as heck, but no judging. I haven't washed it for two days. <laughs> I'm gonna start with my chin. Oh my God, I feel like I got too much product. I put it on my under eyes. What the freak? It's a lot. Lol, I swear that this is like way too much. I look like a freaking ghost. Let's spread that out. Okay, I think that's fine. <coughs> My goodness. Honestly, I feel like I'm applying it everywhere on my face because my entire face gets really oily. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. You know what? This hack is going to fail because of how I'm applying the loose powder and not because it doesn't work itself. I think we're ready for foundation. Yep, I think we're ready. As you guys know, the Fit Me foundation does tend to get messy, but it works for me. Oh my shoot me. Oh my shoot me. Maybe sometimes it doesn't. Let's try that out. By the way, if you guys didn't know, I use my foundation as concealer because not a lot of concealers work on me. They tend to crease under my eyes even if I bake my under eye. So don't mind me if I put a lot of foundation under my eyes because it works two ways for me. I'm gonna be doing another inverted triangle under my eye. Then just a little bit on my nose. I'm just gonna line that. Dot on my chin. Dot, 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 dot. Okay, beauty blender, work your magic. This seems to be so matte. Okay, I'll be honest that I don't know what to feel about it as of the moment because although I tend to get really oily, my face got so dry, especially on my nose area. I don't know if you guys could see that on camera, but looking at it in the mirror, I have like patches of foundation that are just pooling inside of the pores because again, it's so, so matte. Maybe I shouldn't have used the matte foundation, but then I don't have anything other than matte foundations. But I don't know, I may end up liking it throughout the day, so I guess we'll see how it works. But as of now, maybe I put too much loose powder on, maybe I just put enough and it's just not working on my skin. I'm not digging it so much. I'm just gonna be doing the rest of my makeup and I'll get back to you guys. All right, so our makeup look for the day is finally complete. By the way, if you guys want to see how I did this look, then please do comment down below. It's very simple, nothing grand. And by the way, I did make use of my Miniso blusher and I have been loving it. The past few days I've been using it and I could say that it lasts 
for about half the day or more than that. For 99 pesos, it's totally worth it. So if you guys want to buy this, then go for it. Okay, so time check. It is... I don't know if you guys could see that, but it's 4.07 p.m. Mind you, it is actually pretty humid and hot today, so we'll really be able to put the longevity of this hack to the test. Let's hope that it lasts the entire day, because I've checked off the poreless, flawless look, because it kind of pulls inside of the pores of my nose. By the way, let's check it out with flash on the first hour of application. Okay, so that's what it looks like with flash. I'll be honest that I kind of look like a ghost. And my phone just died. But maybe it gets better throughout the day. Maybe it gets better when I get a little bit oilier because it is super mattifying. So I'll check back with you guys in a little while. So see you guys later. Hey you guys, I just want to check back in. It's been about two hours and 30 minutes. So it's around six. 40 in the evening and as you guys can see I've gotten pretty oily um, especially here on my nose area a lot on my forehead there you could see all that shine and not as much on my chin area as much as I would usually get but then again it's only been two and a half hours so we'll see later on if it still holds as well as it has been holding up lately so yeah I'll see you guys later and I am back except for the curls of my hair and my necklace, they are both gone. Right now it's about 8.30 p.m. So it's been about 4 hours and 30 minutes ever since I put on my makeup. And I have not blotted whatsoever, that's why Guys, I live in the Philippines and it's so humid, it is hot and I did not go in anywhere air-conditioned and I have an oily face so that's a really bad combination but I will blot for you guys right now and we'll see we'll see how well that worked on me for four hours without aircon okay so this is what my oil control film looks like after four hours okay what I'll do right now is I'll try to put powder on top of it and we'll see if it will not look that cakey. Oh, that actually does not look bad at all. And I could tell you guys that it does not look cakey. It looks very, very fresh. I like what it looks like better with the powder on top of it. Okay, let's go with the cons first before we move on to the pros. First of all, as you guys know, I've said it twice and I'll say it again. I didn't like how it sat my face the first hour because the products that were used, yes, the powder, the foundation, the highlighter that I put on my face were so obviously cakey and it's as if that it highlighted the pores on my nose which I did not like and second negative comment it made me look like a ghost especially on flash photography it was so so white so if you guys want to go out for the night you know just have dinner and you know that you'll be taking a lot of flash photography then you cannot do this unless you do want to stand out in that photo because you have really bad makeup okay let's move on to the pros I'll tell you guys this, it did stay a lot longer than my makeup usually would when I just put foundation and setting spray on. I like the fact that after blotting my face still looked fresh, as if I just put makeup an hour ago or something. And as for the nose area issue, after an hour and my skin has released its natural oils, it started looking a lot better and my pores didn't look as magnified as it did on the first hour of application. This did prove to really let my makeup stay longer than it usually does. So you might be asking, is it a go or a no? Is it a yay or a nay? I would say it is worth the shot. For those who are already very dry face, I don't know about that. But if you want your makeup to stay a lot longer than it usually does, then I guess this would be perfect for you, except for flash photography. So I guess that does it for my first ever trial of a makeup pack. I really hope that you guys liked this video as much as I did making it. Anyways, thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye!